Hello, this is Kiana and Marcel from CISA. CISA. Today, we will introduce two of the most important applications related to life on campus at SNU. The first one is the MySNU official app and the second one is the SNU library reservation app. MySNU is definitely one of the most useful apps to use as an SNU student. Once you get a MySNU ID, make sure to download this app right away. It provides 12 main features which includes a mobile student ID card and an online attendance check. Let's log in and go through the app's main features together. The MySNU app requires your MySNU ID and password to log in. If you set it as auto login, you won't need to manually type in your ID and password every time you use the app. Once you're logged in, you can find the main features of the app located on the main screen in individual boxes. The first box will bring you to your SNU mail. The second box will take you to the SNU menu. Here, you will be able to check what every student cafeteria on campus is serving today. The third box will direct you to ETL. You can use all of the features of ETL as you usually do on your PC, including class announcements, class Q&A, and class files. To learn more about ETL, check out the OIA's video called How to Use ETL. The fourth box will direct you to notices. Here, you can check all kinds of news related to SMU, as well as important notices from different departments or organizations on campus. The fifth box is a shortcut to the academic calendar. It shows you the important dates related to campus events, including class registration, the beginning and the end of the semester. The sixth box will take you directly to the emergencies page. Here, you can check which phone number to call in case of traffic accident, fire accidents, and lab accidents. The seventh box will bring you to Wi-Fi guidelines. These guidelines will explain you how to connect to Wi-Fi network throughout the campus. The 8th box will show you the shuttle bus timetable. Select which kind of bus you want to take or which bus stop you would like to get to. Make sure you check carefully if it is CUNY shuttle or Tohap shuttle that you are waiting for. The CUNY shuttle operates solely within campus while the Tonghap shuttle can take you off campus to either Seoul Teip Kuyok, the subway station, or Tehak Tung. The 9 box will direct you to the campus map. If you install both campus map and kafal map, you can check your current location inside the campus and search for direction. The 10 box will take you to my courses. It shows you which lectures you are taking this semester and what lectures you have already taken. The last box will direct you to the my menu settings. Here you can change the order of the boxes on the main screen. The rest of the boxes are not fixed features and they will connect you to different materials according to the academic calendar or other circumstances. For example, during the course registration period, there will be a box for course registration. Below these boxes, you will see additional blue icons that will direct you to further features. The second icon next to the home icon is for the mobile attendance check. When you take offline classes, you can press this icon to register your attendance. To use this feature, make sure your Bluetooth is switched on. The third icon is for the mobile student ID card. If you already have a MySNU ID, you just need to follow the directions provided and a mobile student ID will be automatically issued. Now you will be able to enter facilities around campus, such as library, your major department, building, and etc. If you use an Android phone, please make sure the NFC settings are turned on. The fourth icon leads you to settings menu. Here, you can change the language from Korean to English and vice versa. The SNU Tungam Dosukwon Chaseok Yeak app or the SNU Library Seat Reservation app allows students to quickly reserve library reading rooms. Although students can make reservations in the SNU Library website and also in the kiosk located within the library, this application makes it easier to make reservations. In order to use these services, you should first log in by using your My SNU ID and password and agree to the necessary terms and conditions. Alternatively, you can select this item and use the automatic login function. Once you have logged in, the app will show you two tabs. The blue tab is for the main library and the gold one is for the Kwangdong library. Here, you can make reservations for reading room seats, check your reservations and restrictions, and book group study rooms. You can also make reservations for the BR and film studio at the Kwangdong library. In order to reserve a seat, Click on the reservation button and choose the reading room that you wish to use. Then, choose which seat and for how long you would like to use it. Once you have clicked search and received a confirmation that it's available, you will have successfully reserved your seat. 
If you wish to cancel a reservation, go to the second tab and click on the Cancel Reservation button or Yayak Chiso. When using these services, it is crucial to follow these next steps so that you will not be penalized by the library. Firstly, to avoid losing your seat, you have 30 minutes to check in at the library kiosk once your reserve time slot has started. Secondly, please make sure to check out before leaving. If you do not check in or check out for more than 5 times at any given time points, you will be banned from using all library services for 10 days. We hope these tips on how to use the MySing app and the library reservation app will make your life on campus more enjoyable and productive. See you in the next video. Bye! Bye.